Over the last 50 years, there has been a dramatic increase in the life expectancy of most countries around the globe. Put simply, we are living longer. This is the result of better nutrition, the dawn of early diagnosis, the identification of high-risk behaviors like smoking, and the increase in awareness of personal hygiene and personal fitness. However, we have also seen an era of public health issues develop which we have not seen before. In males, the incidence of prostate cancer increases as men live longer. In women, heart disease and heart attack have become top killers. These trends beg the obvious question. As we grow older, what will be the new face of our health around the globe? Another ominous development has been the dramatic increase in Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is one of the most devastating diseases that uh, I know as, a, as an MD, and I believe one of the greatest threats to society that we can imagine. The impact of Alzheimer's disease is on all aspects of normal living. Uh, patients lose their memory. They, uh, in advanced uh, stage, they don't recognize their closest family. And finally, they even forget uh, who they are. Alzheimer's is the disease of the family. It starts out with being devastating to the individual, but it affects the loved ones, it affects their financial structure, and eventually will result in, in many cases, the bankruptcy of the entire family. We usually focus on the problem of Alzheimer's disease in the United States. Uh, we have 71 million baby boomers heading toward risk age, um, and we have no way to effectively stop this disease. But the fact is, this is a worldwide problem. In the entire world, folks are growing older and living longer, not just in the United States. And that means that you're going to have a global tsunami of Alzheimer's cases over the next couple of decades. If we don't have a way to stop this disease, and meanwhile, Modern medicine is allowing everyone to live longer. We're headed for catastrophe, global catastrophe. You're going to have every young person in the world having to spend most of their time and effort caring for their elderly loved ones for this disease. Then what happens to productivity? What happens to our world? So Alzheimer's is a major global problem that is just a looming disaster for every country in the world. So the older we get as a world population, the more we will see diseases like Alzheimer's disease afflict our senior population. There is now evidence in countries across the globe that Alzheimer's is becoming a priority health concern, and one that will, as it grows, become a major drain on our healthcare systems, our individual economies, and in the quality of life not just for our seniors, but for the families who are called upon more and more to be caregivers. Alzheimer's currently is costing the U.S. government, uh, in terms of Alzheimer's care, Medicaid and Medicaid costs, uh, over $150 billion. That's per year. With our baby boomers aging, many, many people are going to be going into the older categories, and as people age, uh, Alzheimer's kicks in. So uh, we have projected in the next five years, if Alzheimer's is not stopped, it will come close to bankrupting the whole Medicare Medicaid system. The incidence of AD in Europe is slated to increase dramatically over the next 40 years. So Alzheimer's disease in Germany, as in uh, all other um, in industrialized countries, is a major health threat. It affects uh, the aging population. We're the lowest in terms of birth rate, so meaning that our population in particular is going to get old very soon. So this problem of Alzheimer's disease and dementia is going to be it's going to be, it's already huge, but it's going to be, uh, if, if no cure or way of prevention is found, it's going to be uh, insurmountable, really, uh, over the coming decade. You used to talk about an epidemic hitting uh, Australia and, and countries like the United States and Europe, and we are not in that epidemic. It is extremely prevalent. 
for a small country like ours, uh, we have uh, over a quarter of a million people with dementia. Africa and Asia are slated to be impacted heavily in the coming years. One insidious aspect of this epidemic is the fact that the burgeoning incidence is slated to impact those countries around the globe who have just begun to establish solid financial footing. Alzheimer's not only is a disaster in the United States, it's a disaster worldwide. And uh, with the aging world population, it's going to be a total disaster, in, particularly in developing countries where they don't have any infrastructure to deal with it. In America, over the last 10 years, advances in medicine have translated into a decrease in the mortality rates of several major disease killers. However, the mortality rate for Alzheimer's is going in the wrong direction. In the latter half of the last century, worldwide endeavors to tackle major public health issues achieved dramatic success. Now we know the threat that we are all looking at in the next 50 years, and what is called for is a global Alzheimer's eradication effort. The only way to make advances is through uh, research. Probably the most exciting development in Alzheimer's research recently is the growing consensus among leading researchers about the nature of the pathology, when it starts and how it starts. There's still a lot of unanswered questions, but researchers are beginning to come together on the fundamentals of the disease, and that draws research together, focuses it more tightly, and gets us further along the track towards finding effective therapies. My dream is to be able to eradicate Alzheimer's disease within the next five to ten years. We are now at the verge of really understanding the basic causes of Alzheimer's. We have on the docket many potential cures and so the task really now is to increase the amount of effort going into solving this problem and I think if we do that we have a very good chance of realizing my dream. More research is the only answer.